Hey, Joe from Nine Hill Tech here. I want to talk about the newest version of Edge Scout that we're shipping out to folks. This is a hardware only video. If you're curious about how it integrates to ATAC, then go ahead and check out the other video. But for now, we're going to talk about the newest revisions of the hardware and how to use it. So a couple of immediate things that you'll notice is there's this ring light here in the, in the very front. The antenna is accessible, so you can swap that out if you so desire. Uh, we've also included this clip in the back. It's a pretty nice little clip, so you can attach it to your belt loop. It should be a pretty standard size to equip to any utility belt or, um, or candor vest, etc. The other thing we're doing is we're providing the 3D printable file for this clip on our things, and we'll link to that, but we'll also be providing other attachments, for example, carabiner holders, etc., that folks can print or you can modify and make it your own, whatever you'd like to do. Um, but now let's go over how to use this thing. So when you have this device, the first thing you're gonna probably do is just wanna turn it on. So how do you do that? Well, we have this button on the side. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold this button. And when we do, we're gonna see this indicator light sweep from zero to sort of full and once it's once the ring is full we'll let go of the button and that'll that'll power it on so let's do that all right so it's full let go of the button it's powered on and now we see this little dance this little blue dance indicates to us that it is waiting to be connected so i'm just going to quickly uh, for sake of demonstration i'm going to connect it in atac and as soon as that connection is successful, the blue light will go out. So the blue light's out, it's connected to the drone home plugin in ATAC. And if we wanna check our battery previously, that was only visible in the drone home app. Now, if you just press the, the button and let it go before it's completed at any time, then it'll indicate how full the battery is. So you can see that this is approximately 70% full. To turn it off, we do the same thing. We're going to hold it and the red lights will go down. Once the red lights are completely gone, that means that it's ready to be powered off. We let go, it's powered off. We can still do a quick press to see the battery light. And if we hold it and press before the, uh, the green lights have a chance to finish, then it will show us the battery. That is... It. The other thing I'll mention is that we have this USB-C charger at the bottom and uh, you could use any standard USB charger. It has a 2200 milliamp battery. That should last this thing probably about 12 hours or so at least, probably longer uh, if you're using it constantly. Um, our tests have shown well over 12 hours, so it shouldn't be a problem for all day battery life. If you have any questions, go ahead, reach out to us or comment. Thanks. See you in the next one.